So this is the 2001 Volvo V70 2.4T. Uh, we've done extensive work trying to replace ETM and then replace everything around it that could possibly be doing this to it. Right now I've just uh, done a thorough test of uh, the electronic system related to the ETM, chasing wires, checking continuity on them. Right now I've started it up. Um, the only fault codes I'm getting are a communication error with the ETM and an internal fault with the ETM. Um, right, I've started it up, it stalled immediately, no foot on the gas. I then started it up and put my foot on the gas and now I've got the accelerator maybe one third of the way down to the floor. Um, and you can see that it's pulsing um, and I have to keep it above a thousand RPMs in order to keep the engine running. Um, it will go ahead and take an acceleration up to about 3,000. That's uh, pedal all the way to the floor right now. And then when I let off, you'll see it die. And that's what it does. So here we are. We've got the X Mode X uh, ETM in there right now. Um, fully programmed for the car. We're not getting any error codes back uh, suggesting that it isn't working um, or that it isn't coded for the car, I mean. Um, I'm going to go ahead and step out and just show you what that label looks like. So you can kind of see the engine's very clean. I've been going around cleaning up looming as I open up various bits. I was just in here today um, doing the fuse test and all that sort of thing. And right down here you can see the X Mode X green label. I don't think I can get the phone to focus in on it if I get right in front of it. I'll give it a try. Yeah, it's just too dark down in there. Um, but anyways, suffice it to say, it's a brand new remanufactured unit with the, with the no-touch uh, throttle sensor. Um, I've checked and verified all my sensors along the intake pipe on the intercooler system, um, checked vacuum hoses, did a smoke test yesterday. Uh, yeah, generally speaking, that's what we're looking at, and uh, we're going to see what X Mode X says about uh, replacing the unit that I paid 500 bucks for. Uh, any comments or thoughts would be much appreciated.